morning to you. So today is Thursday, May 11th, day 55 on the Appalachian Trail. So yesterday we did, what, 22 miles into Mountain Home Hostel. I got there about an hour before Kilroy and uh, I was the only one there. So she's we were sitting on the patio chatting and she's bringing me lemonade and stuff, showing me the ropes. And then um, she collected the laundry. She did the laundry herself. And then uh, I took a shower, got some good Lona clothes. Actually, to fit nice. Actually, it looked just like the outfit I hiked in. I had like tan cargo pants and a blue billabong shirt. And then Kilroy shows up and she's too busy showing everybody else around. So he's stuck out on the patio, no lemonade. <laughs> it was kind of funny because he had a bad taste right from the beginning. He gets in the shower. And I had noticed that the body wash, you basically the pump didn't work, so you had to pour it out of the bottle. But I don't know, maybe he didn't pour it out of the bottle because he's complaining how there's no body wash in the shower. It's so funny. Anyway, I think he came around. So we had a, basically the two of us, even though we got bunks, we had our own room. And he had a queen, uh, not a queen, probably a full-size bed because he's 6'3", 6 6'2", 3, 6 6 3, So I gave him the big bed and I just took one of the twins and then this morning they made a real nice breakfast. It was a fruit salad, uh, scrambled eggs with veggies in it, yogurt, coffee. It was good, very good. Toast uh, with homemade jam. So it was excellent. It was really a nice place. Very clean, really nice place. Oh, and so uh, they drove us into town. And yesterday we went to Spelunkers and I had like a double cheeseburger with a large fry and a mudslide shake. Got stuff from that. But then uh, he wanted to stop at the 7-Eleven and get like the big gulp. And he went and got a big gulp and a hot dog and it was right near a KFC. And I've been kind of craving KFC, so I got myself a two-piece meal to eat when we got back. We went shopping, I bought, I got so much food, but uh, still left over because I haven't been eating my resupplies because we've been stopping and eating, so. But I did get a quarter chocolate milk and a, a tasty cake. That's something that uh, Kilroy showed me is that a tasty cake frosted honey bun has 710 calories. So it's a staple, I guess, here out on the trail. <laughs> so I threw one in my pack. I'll probably have it for breakfast, either tomorrow, or, no, probably not tomorrow, because I have uh, the Pop Tots from Ashley, so I'll have it probably uh, the day after tomorrow for breakfast. 710 calories, can't beat that. It's so bizarre to be basically stuffing your face, trying to keep the weight on. Not gain weight, just keep it maintained. Eating as much as you can, just such a bizarre, situation to be in all right anything comes up i'll let you know oh i forgot to say when we were coming into the uh, mountain home we went by this gigantic fenced in government area and we asked the uh asked lisa who runs the b and b what, what it was she said it's a uh it's like the smithsonian institute's endangered species like breeding place where they try to take world's endangered species and keep them keep them going so it's just kind of an interesting thing didn't see any animals but just interesting oh and uh, Ashley and Jill put some poppycock in my uh, bee supply so that was a pleasant surprise because I had bought a bunch of like snack stuff that they've been giving me but this was totally unexpected a Ziploc full of poppycock. I don't know where they found it. Maybe it was left over from Christmas. I don't know. There's no way it was left over from Christmas. <laughs> poppycock doesn't stay around that long. <laughs>